Welcome to Pedals and Stuff. I'm Sam. Really nice to have you here as part of our community. If it's the first time you've been here, yeah, a special welcome to you. Do check out the other videos and do subscribe because I'd love to have you come back. Now today, what are we doing? Well, you probably know you've clicked on the video, so we are doing Rev Distortion. Yes, these are absolutely amazing and if you're looking for a distortion pedal, these need to be on your radar. Which one though? That is the question. They're both amazing, but they are a bit different. All right, we're gonna go through, we're gonna check out all the sounds on offer, make a comparison, and let's see what happens. Red or purple, in the comments please, which one is for you? Set really clean, right? The G3. Nice. All right, the G4. Quite a different beast, so more modern sounding, more scoop mids. Right up, here we go. Yeah, really different. So yeah, as I said, much more modern sounding on the red pedal, the G4, but the G3 has got some really nice tones in there. I really like it. Okay, let's have a little play around with the toggle switch. Toggle on blue. Let's see what the difference is. Let's start with the G3 again. And, uh... to the red as well. Off in the middle. Up to the red. Let's try the same on the G4. Off in the middle. Up to blue. Down to blue.
I've done lots of chugging. Let's hear some single note stuff. character with the game right down. If I roll back on the volume. Now I know you probably wouldn't use them like this because it's not why you'd have bought them, but sound quite bluesy, right? Nice! As I say, I know you wouldn't have bought them for that. You'd get yourself a nice overdrive pedal for that. Maybe a tube screamer or something. But these are more versatile than you first think. 